Next up, at UFC 300, we have the only UFC debut on the card, Kayla Harrison, as she is taking on former UFC champion Holly Holm. This is one of the more controversial fights on this card, and I got to be honest with you, I think most people are far overcomplicating this fight. We have 42-year-old Holly Holm, 15 and 6 overall, 3-1 one and 1 in her last 5. She is coming off the overturned submission loss to Myra Bueno Silva. She was submitted standing with a ninja choke, but that fight was overturned to a no contest because Myra Bueno Silva had some Ritalin in her system. She's taking on Kayla Harrison. It's a new name to most of you. And that's because she's coming over from the PFL. She's 16 to one in her career, four and one in her last five, and she's making her UFC debut. We'll start on the Kayla Harrison side. Not only is this her UFC debut, but she is far more than Hot just that. Shit. She, oh. she is far more <laughs> that a PFL fighter who's moving over to the UFC. She is a two-time Olympic gold medalist judoka. Judoka is somebody who practices judo. She is literally the greatest American judoka of all time. It is not even close. There is nobody from America that has anywhere near the credentials or the accolades that she has practicing judo, male or female. She is absolutely one of the best that has ever done it. Two different Olympic gold medals, a whole myriad of world titles, Pan American titles, and things like that. She is absolutely tremendous. She won those Olympic gold medals at like 170 pounds. She was fighting in the PFL at 155 pounds. Her only loss in the PFL was to Pacheco, who she had already beaten. And it felt like she did not look good in that fight, but that fight looked... Very much like somebody who has beaten everybody and doesn't care anymore. She has won literally millions of dollars just running through those PFL tournaments. She's got power in her hands because she's so jacked. She has incredible judo, as we know. She is basically a 2.0 version of Ronda Rousey. She's stronger. She's better at judo. She's got better hands, and her striking's not very good, but it is better than what Ronda's was, and she has power. Man, the boss would send her dumbass flying. The biggest concern in this fight is, can Kayla make the weight? I mentioned judo, Olympian, 170-something pounds. PFL, 155 pounds. The lowest we have ever seen her compete professionally was 150, 150 pounds. Do you keep pounding your desk? Oh, you can hear that? Jesus. That is 50, I kept, I, I'm, I'm you, making I thought, points. I was like, is there like... Oh, that's why you did that? Yeah, I was like, is there I'm making points. somewhere? I'm like, where is that coming from? I'm like Dwight from The Office, just pounding the table to make my points. Just fucking pounding it, baby. <laughs> She's, um, <laughs> the last fight, the lowest we've ever seen her fight at was 150 pounds. That is 15 pounds heavier than what she needs to be when she fights Holly Holm. And Holly Holm, we know at this point. She's 42 years old. She is the former bantamweight champion of the world. She knocked out. Ronda Rousey to become the champion and then beat the absolute shit, the absolute shit out of what's her name, but then got submitted at the very last minute to give up her belt. Who, what's her name? The good looking one I who won Big Brother. Saying, so, oh, Damn. Misha. Misha Tate. Yeah, there it is. And then she lost her belt to Misha Tate, but beat the piss out of her. Holly Holm was a professional kickboxer who worked her way into MMA. And she uses or used to use those kickboxing techniques to manage range, keep you at distance, piece you up, use the length, use the reach, use the kicks, and do all of that. As she's gotten older, though, she has become a cage wrestler. She wants to hold you against the cage, lean on you. She basically fights exactly like Raquel Pennington. Just hold you against the cage, be as boring as possible, and slow you down. She did win the first round against Myra Buena Silva doing exactly that, and then she got choked in the second round doing exactly that. The reality is, I think Kayla Harrison stomps Holly Holm. And yeah, you can go back nine years or whatever it was when Holly beat Ronda Rousey, and she could beat Kayla with that exact same game plan. Stay as far away as possible and just hit her hard. Do not, no clinch work, no cage work, just far as hell, hit her and stay away. But Kayla has an iron chin. Holly doesn't have a ton of power. Kayla's just going to charge forward, get Holly against the cage, probably toss her to the ground or at least hold her there. Holly's not going to be able to out cage control Kayla Harrison. Kayla Harrison runs through a 40-year-old Holly home, 42-year-old Holly home. That's why this is the matchup. They spent a ton of money on her. They want her to win. This is a big name that she can beat. Kayla Harrison is the pick. The one and only concern is the weigh-ins. 
So watch the way. I do have a bet on Kayla Harrison pre-weigh-ins because I'm worried that the line's going to go berserk after weigh-ins because I do think she will make weight. She is a professional, but just in case, keep an eye on that. What do you think, Jakey boy? Yeah, I think she knows. News. She, I think she knows what she's doing with the uh, the weight cut and the weigh in. She they 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 do test cuts and stuff. This isn't like a, a, yeah. a, a, just wing it. You know, hope we can make it. You know, especially for a big event like this. They know that she can make this weight. She's shown that she can make this weight. Um, and and maybe it's a little bit tougher because of the stresses of a fight week, right? You kind of hold on to water a little bit more um, in those type of situations because I've i you know I've been there, done that, right? With all these all these wrestling weight cuts, the MMA weight cuts, the Jiu Jitsu weight cuts, the Muay Thai fights, the kickboxing fights all these fights I've been in um it gets a little stressful you hold on to water yeah. a little bit more but uh, sure. she's she's probably gonna make the weight and you know she should be able to win this fight Angelo nailed it this this is they know what the UFC typically knows what they're doing with matchups right and this is a let's give a name but let's make sure it's a name that we can build you know, you know Kayla off of right they don't expect Kayla to lose this fight they want her to win her UFC debut to win her fight so they gave her Holly Holm who as you mentioned has kind of turned from this Stephen Wonderboy Thompson type striker into just kind of hold you. And if you hold a girl like Kayla, you're probably going to go to that on the ground. The only thing that worries me a, a, kind of a lot with Kayla is I watched that Aspen Lad fight live. And I watched that. And that was one of the first times I ever watched Kayla Harrison because I've heard all the stories. And I watched Kayla Harrison. I was like, <laughs> this is this is Kayla. I was like, this is Kayla. I think I was in our Discord. Like, this is the this is the girl we're talking about against Aspen Lad. Aspen Lad is some. I I actually thought that Aspen had an opportunity. Aspen Lad's to, good to though. win that. Like, relaxing. You know, she's not fucking good. <laughs> okay. I actually thought that Aspen Lad had an opportunity to kind of win a couple of those rounds. Made some mistakes. Had the back of Kayla Harrison at one point. The thing that I I don't think a lot of people are mentioning as well is is Kayla on the ground with the with that good wrestling control as well because she got decent wrestling to go with the judo in kind of those half guard positions pfl guess what no elbows right and th- and those are the type of situations where you could really fucking punish somebody right so in pfl it's it's hard to get those punches off and you have to rely a lot of just kind of control try to advance positions so there you can posture up and, and, and strike and she doesn't really have those abilities to kind of get the you know go to mount and then try to do so i think the elbows is going to play a little bit more of a part than people realize i mean that ground and pound is going to get nasty if she gets holly down and i think she's going to get her down so uh, i'm going i'm going kayla here but i i I watched that Aspen Lad fight live, and I was like, "Jesus Christ!" So, yeah, I I took Kayla's because um, her last couple of PFL performances weren't great, but she had already beaten Larissa Pacheco handily. So I just took that as you fight the same person multiple times over. She's losing interest. She literally run through the PFL twice. She just I I just took that as didn't prepare, kind of uninterested, almost like what. Happened with Amanda Nunes when she lost to the Venezuelan Vixen in their first fight, right? Just, this has been too easy for too long. That's what I took that as. The Aspen Lad win, that was the last fight in her contract. She knew it was. Let me just get through this, and then I'll, I don't even want to say get paid because she made way more money in the PFL than she'll probably make here. But I just took those performances as that. And Styles make fights. Holly Holm is 42 years old. I keep emphasizing that. I actually don't think that's that big of a deal. She doesn't fight where age matters, meaning... As you get older, the first thing that goes is your speed. The second thing is your chin or chin, then speed, depending on weight class and gender. Holly Holm doesn't fight with either one of those things. She's just leaning on you against the cage and managing distance. Cage control is not a thing that she's going to be able to do or want to get here. So she has to stay on the outside and try to pick apart. And Kayla is just too tough, too iron jawed. She's just going to march forward or absorb whatever. So we're both on the Kayla Harrison side. I am not going to throw her in DraftKings at $9,300 though. That's you a, that's throw a, her anywhere. I could not. She went 170 pounds you and won the Olympics. The, you could beat the shit out of Trevor Peak, but you can't beat the shit out of Kayla? Trevor Peak was trying to Indian burn somebody to get a win in the UFC. Kayla Harrison was a 170-pound two-time Olympic gold medalist in a grappling art. I imagine I get tossed. I imagine I get tossed. Maybe not. Kayla, but I imagine up, I, cause I would pay. I know you're you're pretty well loaded loaded at this point at PFL, but I would play, pay a handsome amount of money for you to come to uh, to Texas and throw Angela around. I imagine I get. To, I mean, 170 pounds. It's not like if she was like 130, 145, 170 pounds, and she's jacked. I I I, I would if if her and I wrestled, I would have to shoot. I couldn't tie up. I would have to shoot like. Knee down, shins, just hit the shins and just stay as low as possible. 
like I did on you. I scooped up those singles pretty easily. Yeah, no, Jacob the Wrestler. Check out the fight video. Uh, are you going to spend the $9,300 on Kayla in DraftKings Fantasy? I will not. <laughs> Christian says, Kayla was on Impractical Jokers. I did not know that. I'll have to look that up. I love that show. You know, you want to hear... Oh, man. You know how I'm uh, aging at an incredible pace? I used to be called, you know, the cast of Impractical Jokers, right? Everybody does. Yeah, and just a quick reference here. I haven't gone on one tangent. I'm trying to keep it professional. <laughs> I, I was told well, you better fucking lock down and not be, button it up. Not be, and not be button it up. Jacob. So if I'm just sitting here being quiet, guys, I'm letting Angela do his thing. Go ahead. Let's hear this fucking story, Angela. I used to, people used to be like, you remind me of Sal from Impractical Jokers. <laughs> and he's the, he's the fat one, but good looking. He's yeah. good looking. <laughs> now, we were on the cruise last summer. What did we they say? <laughs> so, and this is not a joke. Don't be a fucking weirdo about it. No, what did this they is, say? This is a God's honest truth. We were on a cruise. A couple families went on the cruise. Congratulations. And a little kid came up to me and said, are you an Impractical Santa Jokers? And I said, no. Which one did you think I was? She said, Joe. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but I'm laughing to support you. That's the fat, bald one. So Up next. If you guys could become a premium member, I might go get myself some of the Damon Jackson hair transplant. We want picks.com. Click become a member at the top. It is only $10 for an entire month. Also, I do have hair and you can see all of it on my Fight Foods vlog. I will be doing one for UFC 300. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link Sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.